So I have two objects. If I uh, select them both, I can click on group. Uh, if I select them both, I can ungroup. Um, but I can grab this and then hold L1 and hover over that other object. If we make this, this one bigger, we can see it. Hover over that object, hold L1 and then press X as if scoping in. But we scoped in while still holding this object. Um, so because this was just a single object, it wasn't a group, it didn't put it inside a group, it put it into a new group that now contains the target object and the object you were holding. So now we have a group containing those two things. And a number of things um, are carried across. So if this was movable, and I scoped that in, then the group is movable. Um, and if there's like a connector, uh, if I get a connector over here, then I scope this in, scope out, then the connector is connected to the new group. Um, keyframes are different. If I um, ungroup that again, if I keyframe uh, that to just move up, and then I group that in there. That still applies only to that object within that group. But most other things like attach themselves to the new group. What if you already had a group and you had a separate object? If you grab that and scope into the group, then it will just take it into that group. So now I can edit all these things and we still only have that original group. Um, Whereas if we held the group and we scope into that object, the target object bit over, let's make it huge again, the target object that we're hovering over is a single object and not a group. So if we uh, scope in while holding this group in our hands, in our imp, then this stays as a group, but now it's inside a group with that object and this group, uh, just as before. So um, that's how grouping works. I'd like to thank Whitebeardy, MDKD99, Reiko, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.